Now, thousands of British Muslims from cities uh, across the UK will next week travel to the Hampshire countryside where they will join Muslims from across the world in pledging allegiance to a caliphate and in seeking spiritual guidance. More than 30,000 members of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community, AMC as they're known, will next weekend offer their pledges at a three-day international event known as the Jalsa Salana in Alton in Hampshire. To tell us more, we're now joined by Adam Walker, who's from the Ahmadiyya Muslim community. Adam, good evening and welcome to the programme. Good evening, pleasure to be here. Now, tell me, Adam, then, uh, what this event then, you say the Caliphate. Tell us, for those who don't know who the Caliphate is. Yeah, I mean, unfortunately, with uh, what's happened over the past few months, and ISIS people will have the, the wrong impression with regards to the Caliphate, but I can assure them we don't in any way, are not in any way associated with, uh, with ISIS. Um, the Caliphate that was um, established, uh, that we follow, is the um, Ahmadiyya Islamic Caliphate, and it was established more than 100 years ago, and the Caliph himself has lived in the UK for the past 30 years. It's a spiritual caliphate, which is what we believe um, caliphate was intended to be, and what it was in the, at the beginning of Islam. And the purpose of the caliphate really is, is twofold, put simply. Firstly, it's in place to um, help Muslims become better individuals, become more spiritual, become more productive within their communities, and secondfold, it's there to help protect the rights of others, whoever they are, be they Christians or Jews or people of no faith at all, be they women, be they young, be they old. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, but not all Muslims have a spiritual leader or a caliphate, do they? No, not at all. I mean, over the past um, 100 years, there's only one community sort of uh, after the fall of the Ottoman Empire that um, has claimed caliphate. Um, until ISIS recently, and that's the Ahmadiyya Muslim um, hmm. community. Um, there are other, obviously, sects within Islam that have different types of ways that they organize themselves, but there's only a single caliphate and a single caliph. Yeah. Um, and uh, uh, and, and um, everyone pledges allegiance to that caliph, which means that basically they, um, at the hand of the caliph each year, they agree that they'll abide by certain principles, and those principles all really push towards making those individuals better people. Mm -hmm. And at the, at the heart of that, at the core, just for your listeners, is that we should, be, we should be more productive in society in helping everyone universally. So if there's any harm that uh, is instigated towards anyone, that would run counter to what the pledge that we take mm -hmm. um, uh, aims for. And that's a real, you know, the, a big defining difference between us, say, and... Um, uh, and the, the, the heinous um, ISIS group that exists. So you still believe in the Quran and you still believe in the uh, Prophet Muhammad? Absolutely. There, I mean, there, in, in terms of our creed and our beliefs, we believe that um, uh, we believe in Allah and we believe in Allah's Messenger. We recite the exact same kalima. That's the, the testimony of faith, of creed, that all other Muslims recite. We pray five times a day, as other Muslims do. We read the Quran. We accept the Sunnah, that's the practice, and the Hadith, the sayings of the Holy Prophet, may the peace and blessings of God be upon him. Um, it's simply that our interpretation um, very often differs from many other Muslims, particularly mm. extremists. But, yeah. uh, but there are many commonalities as well. Yeah, I mean, there, as I understand, there are 71 sects of Islam, and they do differ. Uh, there are 71 different sects of Islam, aren't there? Absolutely, they, all, yeah. they do differ. Unfortunately, yeah. our, our community, and I, I would argue it's, it's perhaps because... Um, where we're very peace driven in, in, in the terms of everything that we do has been heavily persecuted mm -hmm. and um, you know and, and that's a big shame but when people point towards say um, the Ahmadis holding certain beliefs which others reject it's, it's really a false economy um, if you look across all of the sects within Islam different sects point towards the others and say that there are things that they dislike or don't agree with with those sects from our perspective, we don't personally do that. We have a, a vision of Islam and an interpretation that we believe to be true, and that's what we practice. We completely respect the rights of other people to practice mm -hmm. other interpretations of Islam or to, to have no faith at all or belong to other faiths. We believe, as the Quran says in uh, the second chapter of the Quran, that there is no compulsion in religion, la ikraha fi deen, and therefore anyone is free to become a Muslim or to leave the Islamic faith um, to the testimony of what someone believes in is between them and God. And no one, in no worldly power, has a right to come between um, a person and God. Mm -hmm. Now, because a lot of the listeners would know who Sunnis are and the Shias are, 
So are you part of the Shears? No, we are part, uh, we're, we're very much part of the, um, if, if, if you're going to say which, which of the two we were part of, very much mm. part of the, uh, of the Sunni right. uh, community. Yes. Um, though we obviously respect our, our Shia brothers and sisters yes, um, yeah. very much. Okay. So tell me about this conference then. Uh, that's been going on for many, many years now. Yeah, this is, the four, yeah this is the 48th year that it's, happened, it's, it's taken place in the UK. Mm -hmm. And it's the 48th year that people have pledged allegiance here in the UK. But it's actually taken place worldwide for over 100 years now. And, is, and, the, and yes, it's open sorry. to men and women and children? A absolutely. There are there are 30,000 attendees. More than 50% of the attendees are women and children. In terms of the organisation of it, it's completely organised by volunteers with vol volunteers money, uh, voluntary money. And the volunteers are, are roughly about 2,000 women and 3,000 men. Gosh. So the whole event is, is, is for people of both genders and people who are, are not um, Muslims at all or not part of or, or don't feel that they accept the Ahmadi creed uh, beliefs. And, uh, and women are very much central to the actual organization of the event. And His Holiness, the Caliph, um, Hazrat Mirza Masur Ahmed, um, delivers a speech directly to the um, the women of the community every year also. Mm. So um, it's very inclusive of, of, of all, all sectors of society. Now, Alton is not a very big place, I don't think, so 30,000 people there <laughs> ascending, uh, descending on their uh, grounds is going to be massive, yeah. isn't it? Well, I mean, you'd be surprised. I mean, I, I think Hampshire compared to the great, you know, west of England, this is perhaps not, not that big, but um, we uh, uh, the, the site that we have is uh, Oakland's Farm, um, which has turned into a, a global village for three days, uh, where yeah. the 30,000 people come. It's more than 200 acres, and uh, there are all sorts of things that are there to facilitate people staying there, from the facilities for people to, uh, to, to to wash themselves and whatnot, to food. I mean, there are, there are, there are rotis, which I don't know, if the listeners don't know, they're, they're just the Asian ty um, type of bread, mm -hmm. and they produce them at, at sort of 10,000 uh, an hour across the whole three days to, to keep everyone's stomachs full. So it's... Yeah. Uh, it's a very, it's a very um, friendly environment. It's not a hostile environment at all. It's, there's no pressure at the uh, during the place. People go and they listen to the speeches and they take what they uh, what what they choose to from it and they go home. And most people are very spiritually charged and, and very much looking forward to the next Jalsa. And everyone is welcome, you know, apart from the Mahmudia Muslim community. Absolutely, we have um, people from all sectors of society. <clears throat> whether whether a person has a belief in God or no belief at all, it's, it's not relevant to us. We, we, when, we, when, we're talk, when we're talking in the context of extremism that's t been taking place, we, we believe that, um, that we should fight fear, fiercely with, with uh, love to try and win back that which has been lost, unfortunately, with the swords. Mm -hmm. Because the only way that we can really promote true Islam <clears throat> is by winning over hearts and minds. Mm -hmm. There's absolutely nothing that violence or aggression can ever achieve. And if people want to accept Islam, that's their choice. And if they don't, they're equally our friends. We, do, we don't discriminate at all. Will you be talking about those sort of issues, terrorism and uh, what's happening in the Middle East? Yeah, I mean, the, 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 the topics that the Caliph um, <clears throat> chooses to speak on are, are, are never released to anyone, which is, which is part of the enjoyment of the actual event. But he does, um, he does talk about many um, subjects with regards to What's going and on in the world? Extremism, yeah. peace, spirituality, and really, I mean, it's to be honest with you, it's getting at the heart of the problem. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, we often talk politics and geopolitics, but it's really uh, human um, kindness and trying to to, to, to to bring people to understand that we live in a global world. We don't, you know, we can't be self righteous about who we are. Mm -hmm. We believe that. Uh, that we've accepted what is true, but we have no right to tell other people that uh, that they should accept that or that what they have is is wrong, for example. Hmm. Okay, Adam, uh, tell us where it is, and if anybody wants to find out more information, is there a website they can go to or something? Or Yep, it's yeah. uh, it's next weekend. It begins this coming Friday. It goes all the way through until Sunday evening, and uh, it's across in Hampshire. Um, anyone's welcome to, to go to the um, website, which is pressahmedia.com. Uh, com and uh, that's pressahmedia.com or they can just follow us on Twitter at pressahmedia and um, and uh, if, if, if uh, the other thing that they can do if they go to the website is that the event is streamed 
So even if you can't make it, you're more than welcome to, to watch it or on Channel 787 on Sky. Um, we have an international television channel with various different languages, so anyone can tune in and watch it. Adam Walker from the Amadeus Muslim Community, thank you very much for joining us on the programme. Thank you for your time.